Oh, hello, g o z a i m a s Good morning. Welcome to, to the, the Breakfast, Breakfast Podcast. Podcast. All right. Well, <laughs> this morning we're not going to do any double takes because today we have Cecile on. Um, crepes. And Japanese hot cake. Mostly crepes. So we're going to dig right into it. This is the very first Breakfast Podcast where we're actually having breakfast. Which I, makes sense. Yeah, it does, but it's a whole different experience.、Yes. Normally, the only one having breakfast is Tim. Yeah. And, by the way, American contribution coffee. Originated、yeah. from South America. That's America. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, why don't we go first? Let's,、uh, let's just have ourselves some Japanese hotcakes. Thank you. So, Chota, tell us, well, how is a Japanese hotcake different than a pancake? Because if I got this in a restaurant, I would、yeah. think they could just give me a pancake. They're generally sweeter and fatter.、Oh. And there's no maple syrup. We're using green. Wait, it's not green. It's red. It's red bean. <laughs> red bean paste right here. Boom. So, is that the only thing you're allowed to put on these pancakes?、Um, in Japan, generally, there's three kinds of pan- traditional Japanese pancake serving. <laughs> And that's red bean paste, and then they'll do like powdered sugar, and then maybe syrup. Right.、Mm-hmm. At least that's what, like, those were the options when I was a kid. Okay. Wow. You, are you allowed to eat it with your fingers, or is it frowned upon?、Um, you can eat it with your fingers. Okay. Or, yeah. Would you eat it with chopsticks? No, you just use a fork to make food.、Mm. Okay. So, I've had、uh, red bean mochi. Is this the same kind of red bean paste that goes in your desserts? Yeah. Mmm. Is it nice? Mmm. Oh, yeah. This is very well done, Shana. Mmm. Thank you. I'm trying to remember the things they say in the Great British Baking Show to like, compliment <laughs> people. Mine is a little. Now, I will admit, this is from a powder, so this is from a Japanese pancake mix. This is a little on the bait, though. <laughs> it's a little.、Mm. Mm. I like it. I like it on the bait. What?、Mm. I like it when it's blue inside. I don't know if you don't like that. No, I do. It's like cookies. I like them to be.、Mm. It depends which one. But chocolate chip,、mm. I like them to be gooey inside. Yeah, these turned out really good. g o t t say. Mmm. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know how people do this and talk and. And eat、yeah. at the same time. So it's kind of a funny concept. Did you grow up your whole life, people telling you don't talk with your food open? But you mouth, 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 yeah. Don't talk with, with your mouth full. <clears throat> this is why. You don't talk with your mouth, with your mouth full. Take small bites, then you won't hear. Or eat fast.、Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. That's、mm. something else. See? That's how you do it. Nice. Now I can talk. I'm not even. How do you do it so fast? It's instant. You do it with your hands? No. No? You do it properly with the side of the fork. You know? Should we be doing this with chopsticks? No. No? They no. don't do that? In Japan, you do, I mean, I'm sure there's people that eat、um, pancakes and other food with chopsticks.、Mm-hmm. But they are fully aware of how to use fork, knives, and spoons. And so, if it's not a traditional Japanese、mm. food or an Asian food that generally. Is, requires requires chopsticks,、mm-hmm. then you just use a fork. Right. So, this isn't a traditional Japanese food. This is a Japanese rendition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. So, it's the Japanese virgin, vir- virgin, <laughs> oh my <goodness> . version <laughs> of a pancake. Right.、Hmm. And I think they actually got it from the Dutch and a lot of the modern westernized food stuff,、um, especially in the Pastry and breakfast world, they come from the yeah, Dutch. Yeah, the Dutch was the fun with the pastries. Yeah, and the Dutch were the early,、um, the, the big thing here is thickness. Like, that's pretty thick. Like American pancakes are generally at least about two or three millimeters thinner. That's about an egg o waffle thickness for reference. Yeah, that's my, my finger. So, <laughs> I mean,、yeah. Thick yeah, fingers, though. Thickness.、Right. And it's、Round. not. It、so、looks、thick. much smaller in your hands, I think. <laughs> Cecile, why don't you try it out of the camera? 
<laughs> finger for reference. Look, that finger's gone. <laughs> I, I'm very it also has poo on it. <laughs> <laughs> and she licked it up. Alright, I'm gonna try a little bit of this chocolate spread. Is this Nutella? Mm. Or is this, this a seal mix? It's a Siltella. Siltella? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'll be pretty tasty. I think I'll try that too. So, Cecile, uh, why don't you tell us, since we haven't done any background for you, where are you from? Um, What's your perspective on breakfast of your mm. home country? Right, so I'm from France, but also part of me is from the UK. My mom's from the UK, so I got a bit of influence from both. So um, I think now a lot of people in France and the UK, especially children, eat cereal because that's what they're sold. Nice. But, I'm very American of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Coming around. <laughs> um, but then, no, I think mostly what in France people eat is a uh, baguette or just bread, uh, toasted or not toasted with jam, honey, butter. That's very traditional. Um, maybe with orange juice, coffee, or hot chocolate. Now, are they butter or margarine people? Mm-hmm. Well, there's a big debate in France about that. Um, mostly butter. No, the debate is about butter. Um, people living in Brittany, can you kind of look at that in your mind? Uh, yeah. It's that protruding part of France in the Atlantic. Yeah, it's sort of like... A little bit that belongs to the UK. Well, people in Brittany would argue they belong to themselves, but oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, they live by the mantra that butter should be salted, and the mm -hmm. rest of France doesn't like that. So I personally really like salted butter, but Whoa. <laughs> but I am a quarter from Brittany, so a quarter from Brittany. You're mostly British, though. A quarter from no, Brittany, Brittany is an area in France. I'm so confused. So yeah. you're part British, but you're French, but you're also part Brittany, mm -hmm. which some people would consider to be a separate part of France. Yeah. Wow. And I'm quarter Irish, too. So I was like a Texan. Right, that's what I was going to say. I'd be like if Shota was like, I'm part Japanese, part American, but like, I really like Texas, or I'm part Texan. Yeah. That's weird. Or like you're part New Mexican, like you said in an earlier episode. Yeah. Yeah. Like I being said, my last name is Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Whether or not my family is true to the namesake, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of people in Texas that would separate Austin from the rest of Texas too, though. Yeah. That's fine. Well, um, hmm. Let's not get into politics. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We've heard too much about politics this week. All right. Well, okay. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to talk about my. Um, my feelings, my thoughts on the French pinky, the grit. Okay. And that's where normally in America you're, you're most likely encounter with a crate. It's going to be a die hop, right? And it's really? going to be filled with like a strawberry jam topped with whipped cream mm -hmm. or covered in Nutella, it's pretty caramel, accurate. right? Mm -hmm. yep. And it's like rolled up, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Right here we have the crate and it is in tortilla form. It yeah. looks a lot like a tortilla. It's and a crepe breakfast in America generally is like filled with super sugared fruits yeah, that's, rolled up. Um, that's pretty accurate actually. That's what we do. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So that's nice accurate. job, IHOP. Okay. Yeah, well I'm, I'm pretty impressed by <laughs> All right, well, show us how um, we're eating them this morning. Let's get so, after it. Okay, let's take a crepe. Better, better. Um, uh, should we start let's with terminology? Out. Sure. Or, technology? Terminology. Yeah, we should definitely go through the terminology first as to what, or I guess explain what a crepe is. Okay, so a crepe uh, is... Crepe, is that how it's pronounced? Crepe. Crepe. So I say crepe because we're in the US and I want to speak okay. your language. But <laughs> in the US, I'm oh, very okay. But back home, in my household, we call these pancakes. So in the US, you call these crepes. Yeah. And... American pancakes. Mm -hmm. Pancakes, yes. I have I'll a, put a visual up here so you diagram. can see. So see how it's so, gonna, I'll put this up, but I'll let you describe it as walk us through this diagram. So in France, 
these things that in America you call mm -hmm. pancakes. We call them pancakes. Okay. To make it sound <laughs> American. Okay. And then these things we call crepes. In the UK, so how I grew up, we call these American pancakes and then the flat ones pancakes. So if I refer to pancakes uh, during this podcast, uh, I'll be using the American terminology, which is pancakes for, yeah, pancakes, yeah. Your, your pancakes and crepes for these. So you use actually the same terminology. Then As the be, French yeah. people do? Yeah. Well, at least we can agree on something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just say, I'm going to need to study this a bit, but it's almost time. All right, so do we butter this or what? So, uh, there's so many way, different ways. It can be savory and sweet. Generally, yeah. when you're inviting people over to eat crepes, you're going to have savory ones and sweet ones. So, okay. savory will be ham, um, cheese, and egg. Like inside of it? Yeah. Okay. So, you, you make the crepe and then you keep it on the stove. Crack an egg in there, put some cheese, throw some, ooh, sorry, throw some um, uh, ham in there, close mm -hmm. it up. Uh, uh, then you can also have like uh, ratatouille, mushrooms, whatever. Uh, then, I mean, the whole point of eating crepes is the, the sweet ones. So, and for the sweet ones, you have oh, so many things. My favorite when I was growing up was Nutella. Um, Whipped cream and banana. Ooh, that does yeah. sound good. That's what I was yeah. going to ask. I guess we have Cecile Tella right yeah. here. I'm going to go for that. Go, yeah, I think I'm going to do that too, actually. She that makes... and banana. Um, so, uh, but then when you're walking around in Paris, um, in, especially in the winter, they have these people making crepes, and you can have crepes. Mm. And uh, usually in film. A lot of stuff so it's there. like a taco stand for for crepes. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do half mine with red bean cakes. Just to, whoa. Just to try. Just You're not gonna try it Japanese. here before you bastardize it. I put half of it got chocolate in it. I just want to note how messy Shota has been this whole time. He eats really fast, but look at his side of the table over there. What's wrong with my side? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> and in France, we have these things. It's kind of like um. A griddle. Is that how you call it? Uh, yeah, that'd be accurate. So it's it's almost like a George Foreman, I guess. George Foreman. Okay. Like uh, well, I get, no, it's like a it's like a like a pancake or waffle griddle, and there's yeah. nine like there's a bunch six. of little there's six little <laughs> I can't get anything right. There's six sections on it. So, um, when we were there, Cecile's uh, parents did this, and apparently. Something you only do on a special occasion. Yeah. I felt very honored because I just assumed French people made, made, made just made crazy. Like this is a thing they did like on Saturdays or every you know. Mm -hmm. But apparently it's kind of a big deal. It's a lot of effort. Well, so in our household, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so it's in the middle of the table. Everybody has some pancake batter. You make your own pancakes, mm -hmm. crepes, sorry. Except they're that big, which mm -hmm. is great because you can have loads of different toppings. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it's a fun thing to do. Yeah, so it's, I guess, like a similar setup like this, only you make them on the ready, so mm -hmm. it's, you're never eating a cold potato. That, and mm -hmm. it's also not only one person who spends two hours making 20 pancake crepes. Mm -hmm. Like, mm. Mm, it's fun. All right. Super fun. I finished mine, and it's pretty good. Mm. It's good with the uh, red bean. Mm. And I'm sure in Japan there is a crepe shop. Where they serve it with red bean. Mm. Yeah, it's got to be. Because mm. it's quite good. Actually, I heard Japan like likes a lot of French stuff. Like they. Um, um, no, it's stuff well, no. In Japan, even though the original introduction of bread and baked goods comes from the Dutch, a lot of it has defaulted to being French. I wonder why. Style influence. Hmm. I'm not sure why. Because I think it has something to do with the hats. Because like the bakery, they always got the top hats on. That's probably the white ones or chef hats. Yeah. That's I was going to say. Oh, I hope so. Like, like the right French right. baker. Really? Yeah. The tall one. 
Yeah, with the big fluff at the top. Like, I didn't know that was a French oh, thing. Yeah, it was very tricky. Yeah. Yeah, I was That's where say... they keep the rat. I thought it was a Japanese thing, dude. I've seen them at Hibachi Grills. And I was like, no. Still like that? Pull it right from you. Yeah. Sailed to the Pillsbury Dope Yeah. And that little rat from Ratatouille. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I was just like... <laughs> Um, it's sad that most people know what Ratatouille, Ratatouille is from that movie. Yeah, because Ratatouille is ultimately not that like spectacular of a dish. I had it on an airplane one really? time. It's so <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. It's got everything in it. Like all the good vegetables that are supposed to be really nice because you're eating it in the sun and it's mm-hmm. seasonal. And also... All the herbs, a bit of garlic, you let that simmer for a while, and oh, summer in a plate. So, here's another summer controversy. In a plate. Yeah. But is there meat in ratatouille? No. Okay. Yeah, it's but a it's not a dish in itself, you eat it with something else. So, like an appetizer? Mm-hmm. No, it's a side dish. So, well, why it's like a sauce, like salsa? No. <laughs> it's like no, rice. So you'll make ratatouille, and then you'll make, I don't know. Meat thing. Me or yeah, they like lamb and fry. Um, maybe rice or snails. Yeah, you can have snails with it too. But snails is a winter dish. Mm. So. Snails are a winter dish. Well, yeah. <laughs> Usually, is there winter. a case where you eat snails for breakfast? No, no, no. Like, Why? What know. do you mean, why? What? So, hold on. <laughs> we, you guys are eating pancakes for dinner, but you can't have snails for breakfast. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, we eat snails all the time. <laughs> I didn't know Timon and Pumbaa were French. And then second, she's like, of course not for breakfast. <laughs> I'm like, what? You just savory. You do eat savory stuff for okay, breakfast. Okay, so don't you? let's get back on track for breakfast. Do you like coffee there? Yep, coffee. Cafe. They do tea. Drinks, yeah. People are they obsessive with the uh, English? Absolutely not. No, but they are. <laughs> they are obsessed <laughs> with coffee, though. They are obsessed it, with coffee? They'll okay. have a lot of coffee. They'll have coffee breaks. Well, it threw me off times. when I was in France, and Cecile's dad was asking me if I wanted coffee all like all the time. And I didn't know if it was because like, the only thing I knew how to understand was... <laughs> And he asked to do that one time and then he just kept trying. Because... He was like, he knows this one. I'm going to keep asking him. And then it'd be like 10 o'clock at night. And he's like, cafe. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I can't. But you left America, leaving your dad behind. Like, I'm going to go to France where my dad doesn't offer me coffee at 8 o'clock at night. Oh. You get there. So he does that same thing. Coffee? <laughs> it's a dad thing. <laughs> I don't know. Because, like, mm-hmm. Tim's dad doing it is kind of rare. Like, mm-hmm. there are not really that many other dads that go around offering coffee. <laughs> 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 it's a coffee guy. Right. I'm making a fresh cup. It's 9.30. <laughs> Anybody want anything? No. Go for Cheese, it. crackers, coffee? <laughs> Anybody? No, like, if you go to a friend's house or if you have someone kind of work a, like a plumber or I don't know, someone coming to fix something at the house. Mm-hmm. He'll ask them, do you want coffee? It's um So this brings me thing. the next thing. So you have a plumber come to your house, right? <laughs> fix your toilet. Mm-hmm. The toilet's broken, right? Mm-hmm. You offer him a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. And his coffee is one to do, the mood hits him and you at the same time. But the plumber's there <laughs> to fix the toilet. There is no functioning toilet, but both you and the plumber have to go twosies. What do you do? A, you keep it in. B, you go next door. C, you have a second bathroom in your house. Wow. Because keeping it in, that's not an option. That's not a legitimate option. Going next door. I mean, is that the kind of thing in friends people are open around? Like, come on in, come blow up my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour! <laughs> I mean, I, I think that. Uh, I've never thought of that scenario. I will. Maybe our coffees. Maybe our bodies are used to coffee and we don't have that kind of. Maybe we're used to coffee. Not lactative coffee. Well, no, it's the caffeine. Yeah. 
was the funny thing is that we were there for two. I found out her dad was actually drinking decaf in the evenings, but we oh. never got to that level of communication. <laughs> that was like another step above where we got in a two week period of time. So I was like, yeah, actually, it would have been nice. <laughs> but like, but I had no idea it was decaf. <laughs> yeah, like, so we didn't get into it a whole lot earlier, but today, as we're recording right now, it's eight, about eight twenty in the morning. So this is the first time that we've recorded a podcast. Right eye, bushy tail, in the AM before mm-hmm. having coffee and breakfast. Like, I had my first sip once I sat down to take this podcast. Too much sacrifice. Oh, no, it's been lovely, honestly. Yeah. But the one concern is, is I got to come over here and yeah. blow your bathroom up because oh, oh, man. Man. what am I going to do? Yeah. Well, we right? do have um, a backyard. <laughs> we have a compost bag. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe you'll you'll want to wrap things up fast. Well, before um, before we get too far into it, let's get into some of the normal topics. Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. First thing, what is a regular morning routine for breakfast like for you, Cecil? Well, actually, this year I've started developing a habit. Like routine for mm-hmm. breakfast in the evening, yeah. Um, the night before, I'll put oats, chia seeds, and per flax meal, okay, in a saucepan. I add frozen berries, yeah. What's a saucepan? <laughs> a saucepan, a pan, sauce pan, a pan, a pan. <laughs> okay, okay, in a container that can go on the stove, basically. okay. Um, put it in the fridge. Uh, yeah, frozen berries in there too. Mm-hmm. Put it in a fridge. Uh, in the morning, take it out, throw it on the stove, heat it up. Mm-hmm. Um, it takes less time to cook because the oats have been soaking yeah. from the night before. So it's a version of overnight night oats. Yeah, but I like I like it warm. So yeah, it for sure. Uh, I add salt, spices, um, and then once it's done, a bit of milk to make it creamy, and that's my breakfast. Right on. Well, we have another oatmeal lover on the podcast. Mm-hmm. It's a new recipe for all y'all out there. Yep. And then um, coffee in the morning? Mm-hmm. Coffee is a must. Coffee with milk in it. Okay. And, and I have to warm the milk because coffee has to be warm. So it's like piping hot. Piping hot? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. But then on special occasions, we'll do maybe we fry up some potatoes, do a toast scramble. Or yeah. Um, pancakes sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I think like Sunday mornings is more of a winter thing for us. Like if um, we don't want to ride first thing in the morning, mm-hmm. you know, we'll like Alex leave at 10, 11 o'clock when it's a bit warmer. Yeah. We'll take the morning to actually have a more elegant breakfast. Something mm-hmm. like this. Is mm-hmm. that actually yeah. a perfect example? This is a yeah. perfect example. <clears throat> yeah. But actually with American pancakes. Yeah, I don't know why. Why do we do How do we do? Banana pancakes we do. Oh, right. That's a nice one. Mm. Mm. So uh, the savory sweet thing. So it's a when you do this, we I think we pretty much have only sweet stuff. <coughs> would you normally, even for breakfast, top this off with something savory at the end, no. or are you do savory and then you do sweet at the end? No, for breakfast I either do savory or sweet. You don't do both. Well, I don't know. No, I usually do sweet. Then if I do savory, I don't know. I I don't think. <laughs> Unless I, it's a special occasion, I won't do savory. Hmm. Did you ever get your meat stuff going? What meat stuff? That thing that was like a sausage that you... In fact, it was a bean paste. Oh, that was the bean paste. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what did you call the microwave? A micro. A micro. Yeah. I thought you said a meat gro or a meat... <laughs> it's not like... It's not like... No, it's a micro. Okay. Yeah. I, I swore you said something like a, a meat gro yeah. or like a meat... <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. All right. So next question on the agenda: um, How has Tim influenced your breakfast habits? Being here in America, living with the ultimate in American man. Um, <laughs> I've never been described that way in my whole life. I mean, he's a couple pounds short of the ultimate, but you know what uh, I mean. <laughs> Supreme. Keep, keep at it. <laughs> Do you want another pancake, Tim? 
Mm, I don't think he has. He has not influenced your breakfast habits at all? Anything he's have introduced you, to you? Have you introduced? Did you used to do overnight? Well, you were doing that before me. No, I used to. Yeah, no, I knew what overnight meant. Um, and I used to do all your oatmeal, um, like, fresh in the morning before me. Well, I used to do that, but then I realized it took me too long to cook it. I mean, it takes forever to cook, like, old-fashioned oats. Really? So, if you do it the night before, it already mm-hmm. like, softened up. Um, mm. I don't think so. <laughs> no. Tim. I'm pretty, uh... Has I Cecile mean, influenced you with her French... Wilds? Tremendously. Because <laughs> I'm a pretty simplistic guy. So, like, for breakfast, I don't think I've ever had anything but oatmeal. Like. You've, you've had bread for breakfast, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess, like, if I'm going to, like, make breakfast, besides just having, like, a slice of bread, you know, to get me going. Yeah. I think I would have always have just done a little bit of watermelon or oatmeal, and that's it. Like, that'd be the most. Mm. But Cecile actually... I don't know, because it wasn't, like, just the seal. It was either me by myself or plus the seal. You know what I mean? Yeah. So in our house, we're not really breakfast people in terms of, like, making us elegant breakfast all the time. So I'm not really going to go about cooking and going through this whole fiasco just for me. You know what okay. I mean? So yeah. having another person here, it makes it yeah. more worth it to, like, mm-hmm. get out the dishes and, like, lay the table and, yeah. you know, do that every once in a while. Yeah, I definitely will um, do breakfast just for me. I mean, breakfast is <laughs> breakfast is my favorite meal. Yeah. That you. Is all right. Well, if breakfast is your favorite meal, your favorite home cooked breakfast, what would that be? <sighs> That's tough. That's difficult. Um, I do like frying up um potatoes and um. Yeah, potatoes are a solid and, breakfast yeah. item. I'd say. <coughs> or uh, putting them in the oven, doing like actual like square frying mm-hmm. or something like that. And then peppers, a few veggies, um, a tofu scramble, mm-hmm. a tempeh scramble, um, that or pancakes is a solid breakfast. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. If you're gonna go out and eat breakfast or brunch, what would you do? Have you guys ever been to any of the no. uh, basics? The basic <coughs> eateries up in Sneezedale? No, we haven't actually. Mm-hmm. I've been on them. I think we've been to a, a couple diner. places. Um, we've been, I think we've been to a diner before, I showed up. But no. it's it's weird because, like, I don't know, I think going out to eat, mm-hmm. I think meat is so much part of American breakfast culture. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's one of the hardest meals to find something yeah. like we can. That's for sure. Because, yeah. I mean, you could get, I usually just get pancakes or something. Yeah, without paying $15 for avocado taste, it's pretty yeah. impossible. Yeah, <laughs> and even that has milk, you know, <coughs> something in it. So, yeah. need some water? Oh, no, I, I just drank my coffee. My, okay. My... Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I think, you know, that hash browns are a good go to. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, I think what... that's true. Usually, <clears throat> I, I just thought that. Um, I've been once or twice, and I couldn't really remember it because it wasn't very memorable. Because mm. the only thing I could eat on there was oatmeal. Uh, Just right. and they bring you out yeah. a bowl of oatmeal, four walnuts on it, mm. and that's it. And it's very disappointing. Yeah. So next question, Tim, you've been here in Tucson. Most of the time you've been here, you've been a vegan. But you had had vegan hiatuses whilst being <laughs> here in town, and both of you guys can't laugh because you both had eggs this morning. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, thank you for making that sacrifice. Wait, we did. That means a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. It's funny because they're homegrown. Tim sometimes mm-hmm. is oblivious. <laughs> <laughs> he is because that's that's the number one non-vegan ingredient that I've been sneaking Tim for years. <laughs> I had no eggs. idea. <laughs> I had no idea. When did I you mean, do we that? are. I, 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 we've seen the eggs, they're very happy, their brothers are probably crushed, but we're probably crushed at birth, but mm-hmm. it's fine. The <laughs> roosters? Hmm? His well, eggs, they don't, they're not fertilized. No, but when, oh, if roosters. you want f- female chicks, mm-hmm. then, and you don't want the male chicks, what they do is, when they're 
little tiny floppy yellow things. They well, they, we buy them before they're sexed, so you never know. Oh, and if we get a rooster, okay. we just grow them out and eat them. <laughs> I mean, that is. I'll it's say a tough more. life to be a man, particularly <laughs> as a chicken, which brings me to my second point: November. <laughs> nice, it's coming in good. Yeah, I just started yeah. like a week ago. So. Okay, wait, I'm getting distracted. Oh, sorry, 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 hold sorry. on, hold on, hold on. Right back on track. Eggs, you guys. Tim, have you ever had a proper breakfast burrito? I'm talking like the very least eggs and potato, maybe some beans mm. here in Arizona. The last time I can remember was at the Mount Lemon Gravel Grinder. Mm -hmm. We stayed, we camped out, and we were volunteering to do the parking and stuff. We woke up super early in the morning, like 5, 5.30 mm -hmm. to do that. And to help us out, because we didn't really have time to get breakfast or anything, there was a food truck there making uh, breakfast burritos. Mm -hmm. And they gave us a ticket, like a meal ticket. And that's the only option I had. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, they came right up and were like, here. And I was like, what kind of breakfast burritos do you have? And we have, they're like, we have a breakfast burrito. This is, this is like what they are. And they mm -hmm. gave them to us and I opened it up. It was eggs and potatoes. And I think there were some uh, beans in there. So I just ate it. Was I it mean, good? It's delicious. Yeah, it's really good. I get the food. Have you? No. Not with eggs, but I will say it's a macado. <clears throat> oh, this is actually the closest thing yeah. that I've had to a good breakfast out. The Mercado's Avo breakfast burrito. Mm -hmm. That stays kitchen. Is oh it's yeah, but it's not the macado. Yeah, just give them a call. Oh, so they know what we're talking about. Oh yeah, there's two Stace spaces, Kitch so you go to either one, probably get the same thing. Stays kitchen, very good. You should go. Um. <laughs> Uh, so that burrito mm -hmm. is amazing. I had it yesterday with cherry, yeah. actually. Oh. And, oh, yeah, it comes with a hot sauce. And yeah, they do I either think. salsa verde or just regular salsa. Yeah. And they they do the avocado, yeah, black beans. Do you do black beans? Yeah, black beans, potato, I think that's it, maybe. Oh, yeah, those, like, like, pepper, I think they have greens in there and stuff, yeah. Okay. That's probably my favorite breakfast burrito. Yeah. 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 All right. That's day. pretty solid. Yeah. You guys aren't getting the true nitty gritty Nico. You know what I'll say though. Corner store, no. super cheap. Not yet. No. Not yet. I will say though, when I had the breakfast burrito with eggs, it is amazing how much more energy I had. Yeah. Like throughout, it was very sustained because normally with standard vegan breakfast burrito, it's pretty much all carbs and then mm -hmm. some beans. So you just like run through it pretty quick, but. To have the egg in there, it was pretty mind blowing. I was like good for three hours. Yeah. It was pretty yeah. Well I think that's it, one thing I'd recommend to you guys mm -hmm. as vegans yeah, to, okay. to try at some point is to just go, Well let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay, but get a get a proper vegan no vegan. well egg egg filled breakfast for you. And um, mm -hmm. maybe try a try the chorizo something mm -hmm. i don't know there's i think there's probably a place that is a sorizo and egg yeah. breakfast burrito which you know gets you enough of that flavor pack but you're only really sacrificing on the mm -hmm. eggs we've done we've done it with tofu before yeah yeah like sub, we did a breakfast burrito sub egg for tofu mm -hmm. yeah interesting mm -hmm. which i think i think it mimics the texture in the burrito yeah. pretty well yeah. um you know depending on what seasoning you add you yeah. know the taste maybe not as much okay. all right well <clears throat> oh, we'll have to book a breakfast. Breakfast. Shows, <laughs> place, yeah. yeah. The other thing, last last question. Toaster oven or toaster? Oh. Uh, so I, the first time I saw a toaster oven mm -hmm. was coming here. So I've only ex been exposed to it for three and a half years. So that's not long enough to convince me. Yeah. And I, I haven't been exposed to it. By having it in my house, it's just okay. other people's house. Yeah. Um, I've got mixed feelings on it though, because yeah, I love toasters. It toasts both sides. Mm -hmm. It's great. Uh, toaster ovens are bigger. They are. So it takes up more place in the kitchen. Right. But see, we have a toaster, and we don't have a microwave. Yeah. I feel like a toaster oven would act as, as a microwave. You can cover a lot of ground with a toaster yeah. oven when you so, don't have a microwave. Mm. But it, the other thing is baguette, right? Right. You can't really fit baguette slices or chunks or halves in that toaster. It's, it's difficult. difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why where you can put a whole loaf of baguette in a toaster oven. And you could top that with 
you know, you get the butter melty, you could put the cheese, on, I know you guys don't do cheese, but you could put the cheese on there, or, um, mm, you know. I see the pill. Yeah, and you um, put a whole loaf in there, and so it's both sides, no dramas, no burnt bits, because one bit got closer to the heating element. I, I element. will say, the environmentalist in me will say toaster, because it's much more efficient. I don't think so. It's, 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 it's open topped, and heat radiates up. Right? We're in a toaster oven, it's a closed door, right? Yeah, but it's the heat not radiating up is radiating back down because it's enclosed. And that he wants to travel. Uh, but it comes down. But hmm, <clears throat> I I think it would be more efficient if you were cranking out like if, if you had people that would say we we're gonna do like several loaves. Like I've never made it like done toast where I was doing more than like two slices for, you know, two people or mm -hmm. something. But when we used to have Christmas or uh, morning brunches, my dad, that was my job. Like, my dad would make, you know, 10 pounds of bacon, 10 pounds of sausage. Mm -hmm. And he'd be like, Tim, you're the toast guy. And I would just be like, toast. And then he, like, I guess in our household, it was, like, unacceptable to not have butter on your toast. So you just, you always just <laughs> butter it. Yeah, my dad, he's like, he's like, why didn't you butter these? And I was like, because people can have butter if they want to. And then I would get yelled at as a kid for doing that because he's like, you put the butter on when the toast is hot. And that way it just melts on there. It's yeah. easier. So I would like I mean, wait for it to pop, pop, another one, in, or you put another one in, wait, that one's going here. Yeah. And then those pop and then, and you'd have like 16 to 20. Does it make? Like that. Yeah. And you'd have, you know, basically I'd be toasting a whole loaf of bread at once. I think a toaster oven might have been more efficient at that point. Yeah. You could just do a bunch at once. Mm -hmm. Um I think about only toast one side, right? No, it's got two heating elements, one on top, one on bottom. And you can also switch it to broil. Say you want to put some in the pan there and you only want that top heating element, you can get it up. Mm -hmm. Are you toaster oven sales toaster oven salesman? No. I get no money from any toaster <laughs> oven companies. But hey, toaster oven companies out there, it's not saying that I'm exactly. not interested in getting money. I'm happy to sell toasters. It's been pretty That'd be good so funny if the breakfast podcast got sponsorized by the toaster oven toaster. brand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be pretty rad. Now, I mean, if I if I was building my own house and I wanted to just have a very minimalistic kitchen, I think I would probably get a toaster oven to omit yeah. a lot of the other things I have. Yeah, yeah. it works pretty good. Well, on that note, a um, couple things. Our next podcast is going to be with Patrick Brewer. And we apologize for the delay in this podcast coming out. They were some pandemic-related issues. Yeah, setbacks, as they were. Yeah, it was a quarantine period. And we're all good, though. Yeah, we're all awesome. good. COVID-free. So. And so we're uh, over here uh, doing good. But hopefully in a week or two, we'll do Patrick Brewer. We'll have another podcast on. And we would like to thank Cecile for being on with us. Any uh, words of wisdom or final messages before we... Uh... Um, make crepes. <laughs> Pancakes. Crepes. American pancakes. Whatever <laughs> Either way, them. they were both pretty good. I got to yeah. admit, French and the Japanese mm -hmm. both know how to do pancakes yep. slash crepes, and they're both delicious. Yep. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Send us your crepes. Thank you. Yeah, send us your crepe and pancake pictures for the social media. Yeah, do it on Instagram. We'll uh, we'll share them with everybody else. Yeah, we can share a video of how to make pancakes or crepes. Yeah, on the bread. Well, rest in peace, coming up soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, as always, we'll have us on us. Bonjour. Good morning. This is, is the, the breakfast, breakfast podcast. podcast. <laughs> well done. That was a solid breakfast. That too. was fun.